guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to do a quick Dollar Tree DIY with two hangers that I found in the Valentine section first being this larger heart just uh, real simple pretty glitter nothing super special to this but when combined with this other hanger which we are going to deconstruct It'll be a really simple but really pretty larger front door hanger. It will go between the glass and the main door so it will not get weathered um, because it is chipboard. If you put this out in the elements it is going to get all warped and it will only last you one year. Granted you're going to have two dollars in it but that doesn't necessarily mean that you want to waste it. So let's talk about the options and the things that you can do with this main door hanger to turn it in and perk it up to something a little better. First off, when I hauled this piece, I did talk about putting words here and, and putting love in it or whatever the case may be. I have decided I'm gonna put our last name in that section, so I'm not gonna do that with you on camera. But for me personally, what I'm gonna do is just cut our name out on my Cricut. But this could easily be painted on, you could buy letter stickers from the Dollar Tree or Michaels or anywhere, or even a chalk pencil or a paint pen. You could decorate this, put any words on it that you want to, anything of that nature. Because there is welcome and XO already on these smaller hearts, I'm going to go ahead and just do them with our name, like I said, versus putting the word love or something else on there. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start cutting off the labels and, and all the little odds and ends. The ribbon that's on here is perfectly fine for hanging, so I'm gonna keep that attached. And now I'm gonna start deconstructing this piece. As I showed in my haul, it is just literally taped on there. So I'm gonna be able to peel these off. If for some reason you didn't like the decor that was on the front, you could easily DIY these with paint or scrapbook paper or a number of other odds and ends. So we're just gonna go ahead and peel off the tags. And I'm going to gently peel this off. Again, chipboard is very delicate, folks. There's definitely things that, you know, you could, you could rip it, you could tear it but it's, it's pretty hefty. But it peels off well enough that you could definitely do something else with it if you didn't like the option. I am gonna go ahead and cut this off because I know I will not be using this part of the, the ribbon. So there is that one. I'm gonna peel away this one. Peel lightly if you plan to paint this. If you plan to cover it with scrapbook paper, if you don't like, again, what's on the front, you have that option. But because it is slightly tearing the, the backing of the chipboard, if you're gonna paint it, you're gonna wanna be super careful. If you're covering it with paper, no problem at all. Peeling off super, super easy. I really like this one. Big fan of that one. Lots of glitter, lots of sparkle, and I love it. Let's peel off one more. And the last one, which I had already peeled off. This one has a little something from the factory, and I think that's just where maybe some glitter got rubbed off, but no one's gonna notice that, so. I'm not concerned. I've got my hot glue gun out. And let's see what we can come up with. I am going to overlap and overlay. I think if you were just making a simple door hanger, I think just gluing this in the center alone would give it a 3D and dimension pop that would be really pretty. You could put something in the center which would give it a little more pop off the 
the top. And you know what? I actually kind of like that idea. And I might go that route and just glue that into the center of this heart. So, hot glue gun, cordless, lifesaver. Ooh, look at the steam. This is why I have third degree burns when I use my glue gun. We're gonna stick that on there. Nobody is ever gonna get close enough to notice that there's a dot in the center where it was originally hung. So if you're looking at that, thinking about that, don't. Nobody is gonna see that. Nobody is gonna even blink at that, especially from a distance. So now I'm gonna take these extra hearts and I'm gonna start placing them around and expand the width and the length of this actual hanger to make it a little more noticeable. I think I want to put the color up here. I want not so much red right at the top. And what it might be is that I go like this. Let's pull this up a little bit more. Maybe one up here, one down here, and then actually extend this even further, like that. Just to give it a little length and a little body. like that. Now, frankly, if you really wanted to extend this, you could drill a hole here and hang this from here. I'm not looking to go quite that far. I'm okay. I just wanted to make it a little wider and a little larger for the front door, a little bit more depth to be seen from the road. I really wish these were not both pink. I know that sounds so petty and so ridiculous, but I just wish they weren't. I wish there was a little more white, but because these are two separate door hangers that we're now putting together to make one large hanger, I can't really be picky. And let's be honest, it was a dollar, but in the end, it's gonna look great. So I am gonna go ahead and the first placement that I'm gonna put is this white heart up here at the top. If you're really also looking for some diversity, I would almost think that I could purchase another one of these and really open it up even further. My door is not huge. I'm not looking for anything excessive, but if you really wanted to double them up and, and really go wide and long, absolutely grab two of these. You would still only have $3 in the door piece and that's a steal. So let's go ahead and let's get the glue gun back out. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this out because we want it to have some width there. I'm gonna bring this one right here. And I'm just gonna play around with the placement and the angle of it, because that's really important. Sometimes just a tip or a shift in the angle of an item makes a world of difference. It may seem silly, but sometimes something simple makes a big difference. Again, ooh. I wish there was two settings on this glue gun because it's either scorching hot in third degree or not warm enough to melt the glue. All right. So now we've got three of the six that were on the long door hanger place. So we've got the welcome 
and then these two. Now this set right here, and I could easily split them apart because they're, you know, they're obviously they're separated, but I think to give it a little more depth and dimension and to not look funny, to me that looks a little odd. I think what we want to do is overlap these two just to give it a little something different. I want this to pop off and be down a little further. And because these two pink ones are very similar, I want them to, to kind of be not covered, but I want to break it up by using this red one. And of course it has the words on it, so that's, that's important. Oh, glue, glue everywhere. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is glue these two together. I know I want them down here. Oh, giving y'all a shake up, here we go. So I'm gonna glue these two together first because I want this one to be off the board. I want it to be attached to this. And yeah, I know y'all are going, good Lord, that's a lot of glue, but I want it to stick. When people are coming in and out of my door, I don't want it to um, come off. I don't want it to shake in such a manner that it would come off the wall or come break apart in any way. Now this one has a little angle that I really wasn't trying for, but that will be okay. Because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the bottom pink one. The pink is what I'm actually attaching to the board. This red will have just a little bit of a gap off the, off the actual board. And what I wanna line up is my, my red. So I'm just trying to find my placement, the best possible placement for it. Because you want it a little different. And I think, I feel as if I need to have this down here so that you can see that's the bottom of the heart. So. I'm going to grab the glue gun and shoot for this side here. Thankfully, when you put hot glue on, you do have a little bit of time and a little bit of ability to kind of shift and move things before it gets hard and dry solidly. Okay, I'm actually really, really happy with that. And for $2, you're not gonna hear me complain, not one time. And I think the bright red and the glitter will really sparkle in the sunshine off of my porch, and I'm thrilled with that. So guys, it couldn't have been easier, it took two pieces from the Dollar Tree and the hot glue gun to make a super cute door hanger. And I think even you could place these hearts in such a manner that if you had split these two up and shifted this up, you kind of could have made these give the actual bottom heart, the, the big heart, some stability if you wanted to pop that on your mantle and let it sit there. But I will be putting this on my front door. I will take a picture and share it below. Guys, I cannot appreciate you all more. I am so grateful as you have followed my journey to changing my business, changing my life, and following all these massive things that have happened to us in 2020. So I am very grateful for your time. I'm grateful that you stopped in and I hope that you will subscribe and leave us some comments below. I love to hear from everybody. I want to know what you want to see, what DIYs you would like, what reviews you would like. Ask questions, like, and subscribe for future videos, guys. I appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful day.